Jeez. Whew. Hello, everyone. Oh, there's a lot of stairs. Guys, remind me, why does this studio have to be four stories underground? Right, to protect us from the radioactive fallout of a nuclear war instigated by a WWE Hall of Famer. That's a good point. Right, anyway, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special breaking news report from K Fabe News. <laughs> That's a nice graphic. Good work, guys. The snazzy. Well done for a change. Breaking news is unfolding tonight in New Mexico, where our investigative team have confirmed long storing urban legends. I mean, they have located the infamous New Mexico landfill, where millions of unsold copies of WWE 2K20 were rumored to have been dumped. Kayfabe News' American correspondent Reza Ramon is in the New Mexico desert, just outside of the town of Alamogordo. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ray, 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 can you hear me? Philip, Philip, howdy, Philip. I I can hear you. You have a lovely, soothing voice. You know that it's a voice I just yes, want uh, to trust. Well, that's, thank you very much. That's, that's very kind. How kind and spontaneous of you. Now, tell us what is happening there. Have you seen the infamous burial ground of WWE 2K20? Well, yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed, I have, Philip. The site just behind me and slightly out of frame is a landfill where it's long been rumored that millions of copies of the game were dumped due to widespread complaints of glitch played gameplay. And I haven't just seen the trash games. I unearthed many of them myself. I mean, there must have been several million of the games beneath my feet. I mean, look, look at this. Here's one, here's one right now. And there's a bunch, look, look. Here is, here's another one. Oh, and, and look, there, there, is, there is one more. Remar it's remarkable, it's truly, truly remarkable. Can you tell us more about why the game was dumped in the middle of nowhere. It is believed, Phil, that multiple truckloads of the ill-fated game were delivered to this landfill shortly after the first batch of online reviews were published. You see, players criticized the game for a series of aggravating glitches. For example, in the game's career mode, the player can only go as far as the performance center for a tryout before falling into a deep pit. And in that pit, there is just frankly no escape. Yes, yes, we, uh, we took an online poll among our viewers and the eight respondents complained about other, glitch, uh, other glitches, I should say, including Braun Strowman. Uh, apparently he only has one arm, yes, but yes, it's roughly, yes. they say, nine feet long. And referees uh -huh. engage in some kind of auto-erotic yeah, self yeah, well, strangulation yeah, more so than they usually do. Corey Graves does commentary yes, in the same like intolerable he manner as he, yeah. does on, yes, as he yes. does on TV. And matches can only be won uh -huh. by a four count, uh -huh. a double yeah. disqualification, or of course oh. decapitation and there are in-ring weddings and contract signings yes. but somehow they always go smoothly. Yes and those glitches though hilarious they are hilarious affected sales of the game forcing retailers to drastically reduce prices resulting in a massive 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 recall. The recall games were trucked to this site by a company named Darso Repossession and dumped into a deep pit and this pit was there anything else buried there, like <laughs> EC3 perhaps? Because, you know, that, I get it, I, I get it, I get it, it's not funny. EC3 should be a star. Also, yes, the pit contained thousands of copies of the infamously unplayable Atari game, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. So the stories of the E.T. burial are true. What a convenient way to explain the semi-obscure pop culture reference upon which this report has been premised. Isn't it? Now, now, WWE has not yet officially commented on the discovery of these buried games, nor has the development team behind WWE 2K20. But one anonymous source who we agreed to identify only as Sean M says that WWE Chairman Vince McMahon is furious that the game is vastly inferior to No Mercy on the N64, despite being released two decades after an N64 game. Well, this is, I mean, this is, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable, unbelievable news. I mean, has anything like this ever happened before? I mean, there have been, I mean, there have been rumored mass burials of WWE products before, but none proven like this one. For example, an urban legend says that three million gallons of unsold Ico Pro are buried behind WWE's headquarters, but the property is surrounded by barbed wire in which Sabu is currently ensnared. Ray, thank you, and I have to ask, are you really American because your accent sounds but well, no, it sounds uh, a little bit off. You're darn tootin'. I'm um, a Yank. I enjoy terrible beer and shooting my guns 
in a way the Constitution intended and make Mr. America great again. I mean, look, I'm dressed like America. I got my American hat. I got my American top. How dare nice. you, Phil? But I'm passing back to you now. Have a great day. Thank you, Ray, for that informative and slightly confusing at the end report from New Mexico. We will stay on this important story as it continues to develop. And of course, Kayfabe News is the only outlet on the scene because the lying mainstream media refuse to cover the big issues like this. We will now return you to whatever you were watching before. Something gross and shameful, no doubt. You know what you do. You know what? Maybe you should go and read a book for once in your life. Go outside and breathe some fresh air or something. But before you do, don't do that just yet. Hit the subscribe button. Go ahead, click it right down there in the bottom right below the video. And click for reminders too. Click the bell. Oh, wait. Come on. Click it. Click it. Click it. Thank you. Signing off, I'm Flipping Marks. Remember, it's not fake news. It is real news for a fake world. Nice catchphrase there. I just came up with that myself. Just now, it occurred to me because I've been reading a lot of Kafka lately. You should...